Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to continue our same lesson of maths that is subtraction. So, open page number 96. So, subtraction. So, in the previous class, we have learned how to do the subtraction. Subtraction with borrowing and subtraction without borrowing. Right. So, today in this class, we are going to solve the exercise part which is there on page number 114 exercise 4.2 okay so solve the following subtraction problems using place value table okay so by using the place value table or place value chart we have to subtract the given numbers okay so here is an example for you which is already done here 888 minus 528 so 888 minus 525 right so first we have to start subtracting number from the unit place right so 8 minus 5 is 3 next come to the 10 please 8 minus 2 is 6 next come to the 100 please 8 minus 5 is 3 so what is the difference between these two numbers it is 363 understood now let us do this one okay so 750 minus 700 this number which i have written here 750 minus 700 so i am going to arrange this number into the place value table so now let us subtract the numbers from the unit place so 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 0 is 5 next 7 minus 7 is 0 so what is the difference between these two numbers it is 50 only it is 50 right now let us take another example here 999 minus 119 so 999 minus 119 so here it is 999 minus 119. So 0 minus, sorry, 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 1 is 8. So 9 minus 1 is 8. So what is the difference between these numbers? It is 880. Understood children? Okay. In the same way, only have to try to solve this three remaining sums. Okay. Now open page number 115. Second min, solve the following subtraction problems using place value table. Okay, here are the sum numbers which are arranged in the place value table. So 900 minus 275, make it 275. Okay, now let us arrange this number here. Already it is arranged one, right? 900 minus 275. 5. So, here first one, 0 minus 5. Can we subtract 5 from 0? Is it possible? Because the above number is smaller than this below number. So, we can't subtract. Right. So, in this case, what we have to do? Yes, we have to borrow 1 from this next place. Here it is 0. So, this is also 0. How it can give you 1? So, leave this place, move to the next place. Here also it is 0, it, it can't give you anything, right? So you have to move to the next place, that is to the 100 place. So how much it is? It is 9. So when you borrow 1 from this 9, so it will become 8. It will become 8. Yes. So here, when it will become 8, here you have borrowed 1 from here. So it will become, the 0 will become 10. And you, again you need to borrow from this place because it is 0 still. Yes, we are not solved this one. It is 0 still. So, when you borrowed 1 from this 10 place, so this 0 will become 10 and this 10 will become 9. Yes. So, 10 minus 5 is 5 and this 9 minus 7 is how much? So, it is 0. Yes. So, 9 minus 7 is 9 minus 7 is 2. Next, 8 minus 2 is 6. Understood? Okay. Here, let us take one example. 338 minus 129. Okay. So, I have written this number here. 338 minus 129. Now, we are going to arrange this number into the place value 
table. So, 338 minus 129. Now, let's subtract it. 8 minus 9. Can we subtract 9 from 8? Yes. Can we subtract 9 from 8? Because 8 is smaller than the 9. So, we can't subtract. So, in this case, what we have to do? We have to borrow 1 from the next place. That is from the 10 place. So, it will become, yes, 18 and this will become 2 because we have carried 1 from here right we have borrowed 1 from here so become 2 we have carried 1 from 10 place to the unit place so it will become 2 yes now 18 minus 9 is 9 2 minus 2 is 0 3 minus 2 3 minus 1 is 2 yes so what is the difference between these two numbers it is 200 and 9. Yes, it is 209. Now, let us take one more example here. 566 minus 272. So, 566 minus 272. So, 566 272. Now, 6 minus 2. Yes, how much it is? It is 4. Yes, you can easily subtract 2 from 6. Yes, so 4. Now, Come to the 10 place. 6 minus 7. Can you subtract 7 from 6? No. Because 6 is smaller than the 7. So, we have to borrow 1 from the 100 place. So, the 6 will become 16. And this 5 become how much? It is become 4. So, 16 minus 7 is how much it is? It is 9. Next, 4 minus 2 is 2. So, what is the difference between these two numbers? It is 294. Understood children? Okay. So, we have solved some of the problems here. So, in the C, we only have to solve this remaining sums. Now, come to the fourth main. Subtract and find the difference as shown in the example. Okay. So, now let's take this one. 433 minus 244. Okay. Which I have written here. 433 minus 244. So, 433, 244. Now, let's subtract it. So, 3 minus 4. Can you subtract 4 from 3? Is it possible? Because 3 is smaller than the 4. We cannot. Right? So, what we have to do? Yes, we have to borrow 1 from this next place. So, it will become 13. So, 13 minus 4. four. 13 minus 4 is how much? It is 9. Right? So, before here we have carried 1 from the second place. So, it will become 2. Right? We have already we have carried 1 from this place. So, it will become 2. 2 minus 4 is? No, it is not possible. Then what we have to do? We have to borrow 1 from this next place. That is from the 100 place. So, it will become 3 and this will become 12. So, 12 minus 4 is how much? It is 8. So, this 3 minus 2 is 1. So, what is the difference between these numbers? It is 189. Understood? Now, take one more example. 920 minus 311. Okay. So, 0 minus 1. Can we subtract 1 from 0? No. What we have to do? Yes, we have to borrow 1 from the next place. So, the 0 will become how much? It will become 10. Yes, so this 2 will become 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9 and 1 minus 1 is 0. 9 minus 3 is 6. So 900, sorry, 609. What is the difference between these two numbers? It is 609. Understood children? Okay, so in the same way, you only have to try to solve this remaining sums. Understood? Okay.